Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Law Gaming Presents Dragon Champions video. I am your host Dragon. Thank you so much for being here. I want to apologize for not being around uh, the last little bit. There's been a lot of videos. Things have just been absolutely crazy uh, in my personal life, which is not bad at all, but it's just kind of a crazy mix of things. But if you are new around here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notifications bell. We hit over 500 subscribers. Thank you so much for the support and the love from the community but we have some new things coming here from dragon champions i did promise you guys an ember video and the video that you're actually seeing in the background is the footage i shot for uh the five star ember unlock uh, the issue, of course, the reason why I have not put out that video is because I've known that there's going to be a change to Nightiel, and I didn't know how that was going to affect the unlocks, and so I didn't want to put the video out, but as you can see in the background, this is the footage that I did record uh, for those four or five star unlock, uh, and where they where you kind of needed to be four or five star unlock for people who did not have Nightiel or had not had have not gotten ember even unlocked yet uh, but what i want to do today is talk about uh the new announcements that came out today this week they're going to release the developers are going to release dragon champions version 1.1.77 which is going to bring a lot of changes and reworks regarding many gameplay elements uh so let's talk about what's new there's going to be a new hero named lake uh he's going to be available in the special offers tournament shop and special tournaments which will be again in early early March. Gorum is going to now be available for farming. We can get him in the special events, tournaments, market, the common market, and from campaign invasion demons for six. We can added new tournaments and new events uh, to the game they have, which is awesome. Uh, there's a new seven day reward available for players level 16 and above, where we will receive three uh, star purple critical chance runes and snorry shards for entering the game uh, for seven days. Uh, we have they it says we have restored all special offers that old players miss when the offers could not appear at the same time now after logging into the game you will see those uh, offers until all the ones you've missed have shown up so that is really really great uh if you're to the, if you're wanting to spend money on this game you can do that and sometimes you know if you go if you look at um, if you go ahead and look, I have up in the top right hand corner of, this, of the uh, screen here, I'll have my how to whale effectively video. So go ahead and click on that and you can know what kind of offers are good to take. Uh, but let's go ahead and go back on, uh, go back to the next part here. Change to ability scrolls, gold and XP tome events. They will now take place more often, which is great because we all need more ability scrolls, gold and XP uh, tomes. That's for sure. A lot of improvements and bug fixings regarding ads and disconnects and etc. So that's really, really awesome. The next thing they're going to change is tower. So there's going to be two difficulty modes now for tower. They're going to be normal and hard. So every time you restart the tower, you can choose uh, which tower difficulty you want to attempt to complete at this time. The normal mode will require 100 runs to unlock auto run, and the hard mode will require 150 to unlock uh, the auto run. All of the current prog progress you've made on on tower it is going to carry over to both tower difficulties when you complete the tower in hard mode the progression for the auto run will happen in both difficulties but if you're in normal mode the, uh, the normal mode completions only count towards normal mode uh, progress so keep that in mind if you're going to choose normal if you're going to choose normal it's only going to count for normal but if you choose hard it's going to count for both now the matchmaking system will will likely include a completely identical uh, exclude completely identical teams from the same tower run, which will be kind of nice because uh, sometimes I end up, you know, for me I fight two or three meta teams in a row at the end, and that can make tower very very difficult. I tend to get through it, uh, but it's hard. Uh, so I, I I think that's a really good change uh, compared to the current tower. Normal tower is about 25% easier. And and the rewards are about 10% less. Now, the hard mode is about 25% more difficult. Rewards are higher by 50%. 
So I think that's going to be really cool. We're going to have to take a look and see what the rewards are going to be when they come out. But I think that's going to be a great change. Uh, we'll have to test some difficulty. Um, we'll have to test the hard difficulty and see how that goes. Finally, they're going to fix some issues with incorrect ability cooldown calculations on the next floor, on the next tower floor. So that's going to be awesome. That's a really good bug. That That's a bug that's been going on for a while. And I really, really, I really th glad that they were able to fix that. Uh, awards rewards for green, purple, uh, green, blue, and purple places have been increased, um, and so I think that's for tournaments in tournament changes. So we have had some increased rewards uh, for green, purple, uh, green, blue, and purple places. Additionally, attempts uh, additional attempts can be bought only twice per tournament now, uh, as it used to be five, and now it's only two. So that's I think that's also a good change as well. Uh, rune farming changes. So this is another big change to the game. Runes can no longer be obtained from Invasion of the Demons campaigns. Uh, that's awesome. And if it sounds like I'm a little under the weather, it's because I am. So please bear with me. Uh, runes can no longer be obtained from Invasion of the Demons campaign. I think I just said that. But implement a new brand new campaign called Runic Journey. All runes you can farm from the Invasion Demons campaign were transferred to the new one. This campaign requires its own special energy. So now we're going to have two different energies, which is good. Uh, that means we can farm runes and we can farm uh regular stuff and so i think that's going to be awesome uh the runic journey campaign is significantly easier than invasion of the demons and is designed for hero level 15 to 60 so that's really really great um Expedition uh, expedition to rare three-star rune events will now take place every day. Used to be every three days uh, starting February 15th. And we'll have three attempts instead of six, which is awesome. Uh, reduced rare rune uh, expeditions uh, difficulty for the first uh, six battles by about 10 levels. So some of these rare ones are going to be a little bit easier, uh, which is nice. Tournaments for epic uh, four-star runes have returned and have been reworked. Now they last for two days instead of three uh, and will be des uh, designed for 200 participants instead of 300. So they're going to lower the participants uh, down uh, for the epic rune tournaments, which is good. New rune shop will appear in the game available for level 35 players and higher, where we can purchase three star and four star runes uh, of up to epic quality for gold, which is cool, which is absolutely awesome. A new character is coming to the game. As I said before, his name is Lake. He's an order panda fighter mage and a leader and so we have a kind of an idea of what his kit's going to look like um water ball is his first ability it's a basic ability uh it deals 280 percent magic damage to an enemy with a 70 percent chance to inflict tenacity decrease for two turns his first special ability uh, has a cooldown of 1-3 and it deals 200% magic damage to all enemies removing all burning stacks from them deals extra an extra 50% magic damage for each burning stack removed from that enemy a 50% chance to inflict potency decrease for two turns which seems really awesome off uh, water off a duck's back is his third ability. It's got a cooldown of 4-4. Four, four. It says Lake gains accuracy increase and debuff immunity for two turns. Lake recovers 30% health. If Ember's on the battlefield, both gain damage increase for two turns. So they've got some synergy between Ember and Lake here. Uh, his passive ability, Swift Water, if Lake does not take damage for a turn he gains haste for one turn which is pretty cool and then his leadership ability says all pandas gain 1000 penetration each time a panda ally counterattacks, he recovers health by 100 percent of the damage dealt and so that's his leadership ability so let's go on and look at some of the changes they're going to be making to the game itself and to the individual characters. So let's look at humans. Solius has a change that's happening here. Guardian of the Suns, his leadership ability fixed a bug where he was receiving additional characteristics instead of other allies. Freezard, his third ability, Blizzard, will now... 
uh, the turn meter reduction works from the maximum value of turn meter and not uh, from the current one, which is which was was intended. So that's going to be good. Um, Eric Shieldbreaker, his shield bonus at gear level ten is reduced by fifteen percent, uh, but at gear level it, uh, gear level eleven it remains the same. So let's move on to the elves, and this is the one that most people are going to. Uh, be talking about Nightiel. Nightiel's Knight Priestess ability buffs from herself and or Soleus at the beginning of her turn. She's going to do that at the end of her turn, um, and that could be a that can be a pretty significant nerf uh, to her. But I think that I think it's one that needs to be made um, primarily because she she just essentially is immune to all sorts of you know ability blocks i mean there's nothing you can do to her um you can't stun her you can't ability block her you, you, you just you can't do hardly any debuffs at all to her um and then of course she's she makes it so tanks just don't matter um to a certain extent and so i kind of understand uh why they would be changing that but it's going to fundamentally change the way the game is played and that's part of the reason why in the ember video that i have that the video that you're seeing in the background why i decided not to do the ember video uh because that does change things it may make the ember event harder because you're not getting those you're not getting around the taunts and that sort of thing right away um, and so I wanted to make sure that uh, that we give you the guys the accurate information with this with this change being done uh, with the Ember event coming up. So that's the way I wanted to go there. Alaria is the next uh, character that's going to get a change, fixed a bug where Alaria, Alaria didn't consider herself an elf. Now let's go over to the pandas. Fao um, wasn't considering himself as a panda. Shaolin also wasn't considering himself as a panda. Um, and neither was uh, Ren the Unseen, wasn't considering himself as a panda either. So let's talk about the orcs. Um, Corcoran, uh, he also wasn't considering himself as an orc, and they fixed a bug where the increase to his passive ability was multiplicative, um, and so they went ahead and uh, fixed that as well. Uh, uh, Arantha, the uh, summon beast, his, her second ability, Battle Poo, will now get correct shield value. So we'll have to see if her shields are lower, if that makes Battle Poo a little bit more tanky. It uh, doesn't seem like, you know, she's really, the Battle Poo just doesn't seem like it's worth having ever on the battlefield, really. Uh, it just gets blown up, so that might that might help. Uh, and then the, her leadership ability as well fixed a bug where Rantha received additional characteristics instead of other allies, uh, very similar to Soleus there. And then the last change is more doom uh, here where his second ability demons now get the correct amount of shields. So that is the changes coming. Um, that is the changes coming to uh uh, to the uh, two dragon champions. I really really do appreciate you guys coming around I will hopefully be getting some more uh, making some more videos here. We got a lot of really good content coming uh, I will I'm gonna hold off on the ember video simply because I want to see how these changes are implemented Before giving you guys more things the background is what I like I said the background of what you watched today Was the five star unlock the minimum requirements for five star unlock that I saw um, There they weren't really minimum you could have, you could probably do it even with less, um, if, considering uh, what kind of runes you may have and that sort of thing. But with the change to 90 L, uh, you, I know when I was doing it, sometimes it just was a matter of removing the right taunt from the right, from the right uh, uh, person to be able to get get through. So I really do appreciate everything, you guys, um, all the love and support and that sort of thing. I really do. If you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect.